Joining us now, Vivek Arya, B of A Securities Senior Semiconductor Analyst. And Vivek, uh, it's great to have you here. It feels as if the enthusiasm behind the NVIDIA story, the multi-years of, uh, of demand exceeding supply, were confirmed for the most part. What are the headlines from the report from your perspective? Yeah, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. I think there is uh, a global race that is going on between uh, cloud service providers, between uh, consumer internet companies, uh, between on-premise enterprise, between the thousands of uh, venture-backed startups to take the best advantage of this wonderful and amazing uh, new technology called generative AI or large language models. And NVIDIA is best positioned to deliver a turnkey solution to every one of these constituencies who wants to take advantage of this uh, technology, either to lower their cost or to improve uh, their revenue profile. So what did we learn uh, last night? I think three important things. First, demand is broadening. It's not just the cloud service uh, providers. Uh, they went to only mid 40s percent of sales versus mid 50s uh, the last quarter. So demand is broadening to automotive companies, to uh, enterprises, to consumer internet companies. Second thing we learned is that demand still exceeds uh, supply. And I think this was a concern, Mike, uh, going into the call, uh, because the companies in front of this major product transition to something called uh, Blackwell. Uh, so there was this fear that there would be this air gap. But what we are learning is that just because of the breadth of product and the breadth of customers, that they are able to go through this transition very smoothly. And the third and very important thing, which I think sometimes gets understated, is that the top line is not only growing over 200% a year, every dollar of sales is being converted to over 50 cents of free cash flow. Which mega cap company in technology or the market is able to do that while trading at only one and a half to 1.6 times the multiple of the S&P 500? So I think it's, it's checking every box of growth, you know, execution and uh, cash flow generation. And the stock is still only about 30 times next year multiple for what is basically a market weighted a stock among most of the institutional uh, shareholders. Yeah, it's, it is remarkable. I mean, you say you see a, a path toward perhaps $50 uh, per share in, in earnings power within a couple of years, so in the third year uh, from here. I guess the, the question big picture to me might be, you know, how long can a company sustain such a competitive advantage that they are given such a huge, generous portion of the returns for this entire investment cycle at these margins and producing that much free cash flow? It just seems as if, uh, you know, at some point, you know, capitalism goes after uh, those margins. No, absolutely. But one thing we have learned uh, is in semiconductors, uh, there is tremendous value to scale and incumbency. Uh, and obviously, you know, just in technology, there is tremendous value to being the first in the market with the leadership position. So if I look at uh, the global accelerator uh, market, uh, this year we think it doubles to about 100 billion and NVIDIA has 80% market share of that. We think it doubles again over the next uh, several years. And NVIDIA, we think, can maintain uh, that kind of uh, market share. And by the way, this is not too uncommon. We saw similar uh, multi-year product cycles when uh, the telecom service providers moved from 2G to 3G, when mm -hmm. they moved from 3G to 4G, from 4G to 5G. There is always this three to four year upfront uh, deployment cycle. And I think we are just in the middle of that upfront uh, deployment cycle. And the final point I would make there is that the price of entry into generative AI is not cheap. Just to have a useful uh, deployment, you need mm -hmm. to have at least a one or two billion of upfront capex because you need to have at least 10 to 20,000 GPUs to bring about a cluster to do anything useful. That is why these numbers are getting very big. And NVIDIA is not just selling chips. They are able to upsell to boards, systems, and software. And that's why you see uh, revenues get so big. And we still think that they can uh, sustain this for the next several years.